Hello students, today we are seeing tracing of, cur tracing of curves from which we are taking Cartesian curves. So what is Cartesian curve? If we have y equals to f of x as our equation, then it, this is called as Cartesian curves. So or Cartesian curve is also in form of y of x comma y, f of x comma y equals to 0. To trace this curve, we have to check following points. First is symmetry, second nature of origin, third intersection with coordinate axis and fourth asymptote. So now our first point is symmetry in which we have to check symmetry about x axis, symmetry about y axis, symmetry about both the axis. Next, symmetry in opposite quadrant and symmetry about y equals to x or y equals to minus x line. So first, symmetry about y equals to x axis. In the equation of curve, if all the powers of y are even, then curve is symmetric about x axis. For example, if we take y square equals to 4ax, here power of y is even and therefore this curve is symmetric about x axis. If we trace this curve, this is parabola symmetric about x axis. Next, symmetry about y axis. In the equation of curve, if all powers of x are even, then the curve is symmetric about y axis. For example, x square equals to 4ay. Here, power of x is even and therefore this curve is symmetric about y axis. If we trace this curve, this is parabola symmetric about y axis. Next, symmetry about both axes. So, if we have powers, even powers of x as well as even powers of y, then this curve is symmetric about both axes. For example, x square plus y square equals to 4. This is circle having center at origin and radius 2. Okay. So, this is symmetric about x as well as y axis. Next, consider a random curve x square or plus y raised to 4 equals to some constant c. See, power of x is 2 and power of y is 4. Both have even powers and therefore this curve is symmetric about x as well as about y axis. So next we have to check symmetry up in opposite quadrant. So that is symmetry in this quadrant or symmetry in this quadrant. So if we interchange, if we interchange x by minus x and y by minus y and still equation remains same then the curve is symmetric about symmetric in opposite quadrant for example y equals to x cube here we will replace y equals to minus y and x equals to minus x so that we have y equals to or minus y equals to minus x cube or this implies minus y equals to minus x cube. Cancelling minus sign, we have y equals to x cube. That is, we get same equation as above. And therefore, this curve is symmetric in opposite quadrant. If we draw this curve, y equals to x cube, then we get this. Okay, symmetry in opposite quadrant. Next, we have to see symmetry about y equals to x line or y equals to minus x line. So, if we replace y by x and x by y, okay, and still equation remains same, then symmetry is about y equals to x line. For example, x square plus y square equals to 4. Here, 
x if we replace x equals to y and y equals to x we get y square plus x square equals to 4 that is solving this we again have x square plus y square equals to 4 that is equation remains same and therefore this curve is symmetric up about y equals to x line similarly uh, for symmetry about y equals to minus x we will write y equals or we will replace y, y by minus x and x by minus y okay so for example consider x square plus y square equals to 4 so we have minus x square plus sorry minus y square plus minus x square equals to 4 or y square plus x square equals to 4 or again we have same equation x square plus y square equals to 4. So therefore this is uh, we get same equation so therefore this curve is symmetric about y equals to minus x line. So if we trace this curve this is a circle having radius 2 and center at origin c this circle is symmetric about y equals to x line as well as x y equals to minus x line so we know that circle is symmetric about x axis y axis y equals to x line and as well as y equals to minus x line okay so this is uh, so, when, whenever we check symmetry, we will have six points for symmetry about x-axis, symmetry about y-axis, symmetry about both axes, symmetry in opposite quadrants and symmetry about y equals to x-line or y equals to minus x-line. Okay, thank you.